Hello, everyone, and welcome to a special edition um, of our Excalibur Roundtable Tech Talks. Uh, these are some special Tech Talks that we're going to do uh, where we're going to meet all of the Knights of the Excalibur Roundtable. So I have with me today Mr. Michael Estep. Uh, Michael Estep uh, is one of our Knights of the Roundtable here at Excalibur. Mike, thanks for joining me today. Thank you, Mike. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it's it's uh, always fun, and this is kind of an exciting uh, uh, set of videos that we're going to do, uh, where we where you know uh, customers are going to be able to meet all of the folks that make up uh, our wonderful team here at Excalibur. So, Mike, I've got some questions for you. Uh, we're going to kind of do this in an interview style. So, tell me a little bit about your background in IT. Well, I've been in IT for a few years, a little bit over. 25 something plus uh, started in the army uh, I went in for an IT position and actually ended up as more of a personnel manager on some really old IT equipment however when I got out of the army my first job was a level one help desk for a medical company uh, a hospital that was in Tulsa Oklahoma and then from there it just kind of ballooned out uh, I made a team manager of the help desk there uh, went to moved to South Carolina, started with a, a cash register company and stayed with them for a couple of years as a level two support with their server, et cetera. Uh, and then I came over to a background screening company where I was introduced to Sharewell. So 2010 implementation, I've been on Sharewell for quite a little bit of time, uh, but I went everywhere from you know the help desk being on there all the way up to the manager, IT director, operations director, and everywhere I went, we were using Sharewell to expand the enterprise footprint, if you will, uh, into all different kinds of, of uh, places that we had there. So from the help desk, we had several of those. We had an implementation department on Sharewell. We had our customer service department on Sharewell. Then we had the HR. And then our dispute department, which was a very unique situation. Essentially, we had some imports into Sharewell and was able to see uh, contractually or legally things that we had to have completed within an X amount of time. We were able to take that Sharewell and use it and extend its, uh, its ability into other departments. So I've been around for quite a while. I've been from level ones all the way up, mostly in the service industry. Um, as far as help desk, service desk, et cetera, um, and across medical background screening, all kinds of different PII situations, all those kinds of things. So you've been in the ITSM space for the majority of your career. Correct. Yeah, it, I've been in it whether I've been using it or configuring it. Uh, we started you know, with Remedy, and now we've got Shearwell. And then we're looking at you know, the newest thing we've got going out. And I've pretty much been one of these folks that could learn very easily. So we have our Halo ITSM. Um, I'm very excited about that. Something new to learn. Uh, it looks like they're on the cutting edge kind of stuff that we'll be able to implement soon. Now, what's one of the, you, now that you've come over kind of to the other side, where you're helping customers get the most out of their ITSM um, system, what, what you know, uh, you I, I know from um, you know having talked to you about it um, that was kind of an exciting transition for you what what made it so exciting well absolutely I mean I had several internal customers if you will um, like I said the customer service folks and all of those kinds of things but being able to then go from a singular internal customer to any number of industries or other things that I may not have seen before and the different types of implementations. Yeah, you know, all of the help desks are similar, but they all have their little things. They all have things they do differently. They all have their own philosophies. Um, so it was very exciting to be able to come over and not be so much as a one industry kind of ITSM platform, but now I get to help any number of industries and any number of customers. So leveraging all of that experience that you have to help customers get the most out of their uh, IT service management processes as well as platforms. Absolutely. 
yeah, being able to use my experience of all of these years that I've been within the help desk realm, within the service desk realm, you know, some of the folks are very new to the process, and then you have some of the folks that are very, um, you know, have been on the platforms or different types of platforms for quite a while, and maybe they're upgrading or needing something that's more cutting edge, but being able to have those processes that I've seen firsthand uh, and being able to talk with those folks, you know, intelligently of what we've got going on or how we need to do it or, you know, some of the things that I've experienced of, you know, gotchas here and there that we're able to pass on to our customers so that they don't make the same types of mistakes that my, I have may, may have made in the past. Excellent. Excellent. Well, shifting gears a little bit, um, I know you, uh, you know, have recently moved um, kind of back home, as it were. Um, so tell us a little bit about where you're where you're living today. So I am in Ono, West Virginia. Wild and wonderful. I'm back home. I graduated high school um, very near here, and I also graduated college from Marshall University. So I'm just over the hill from there. Um, some of the reasons coming back to family. Uh, I have grandchildren up here. I have children. I have aunts and uncles, um, and I have uh, some siblings as well. Uh, so, yeah, it's great to be back, and I absolutely love the country. Uh, this summer, uh, this spring, I plan to get on uh, out on my spider trike and ride the heck out of it and see, you know, the beautiful countrysides and the rivers that we've got going on. That's what I was going to ask. What were some of your hobbies? Um, so uh, getting out on your trike and, and, and riding around, uh, and I know you uh, kind of you're, you're a, a home renovator as well. Um, from some of the pictures you've shared here internally. Oh, absolutely. So South Carolina was uh, when we bought that house down there. We renovated both of the bathrooms. We put some things down in uh, what we call our hole or the garage. It used to be a garage. It was kind of closed in before, but we did some there. And then we also renovated the kitchen. Well, we when this, this house, my wife decided that we were going to renovate again. So I'm in the middle of putting in the kitchen, essentially expanding it into, I guess you call it the eat-in part of it or the little dining room. So I'm getting ready to hopefully by the end of this month have that project cleaned up and then I can work on renovating the, the laundry room um, as well. But yeah, my hobbies, you know, I, I like to ride the trike and I've got a fishing pole that breaks down and fits perfectly inside my trike. So I'll definitely be doing fishing up on the new river and the gully this year and can't wait to catch some smallmouth. That sounds like a lot of fun. And, uh, uh, you know, one, one of uh, one of the things I always uh, kind of chuckle about is, um, you know, we're here in, in Pittsburgh. I'm in Pittsburgh. We're not that far away, but um, it, it's a bit of a hike. But New River Gorge is um, somewhere that a lot of folks from a lot of our areas go to visit um, for all of the amenities uh, uh, that, that have down there. A lot of, you know, folks that maybe don't live uh, kind of where we are, um, where we're kind of on the East Coast, but kind of more Ohio Valley, so we're a little more inland. Um, there are actually, uh, uh, one of the, the amazing uh, statistics that I found was um, Pittsburgh has the highest number of boats per capita behind a county in Florida. Um, <laughs> and that kind of surprised me, but then uh, as I talked to folks who are boaters about it, we have so many, we have the rivers, of course, here in Pittsburgh, but also um, between Pittsburgh and Ohio and West Virginia, there's so many lakes um, and, and other places to go to um, where if you're an avid boater, whether you, it be a fisherman or, or even a pleasure boater, um, there are just so we have so many uh, uh, you know, opportunities to be on the water um, uh, in, in the areas. Um, and and, and uh, as I found here, a lot of folks are fishermen from creeks to rivers to uh, lakes and ponds and uh, all manner of things um, that are that are around um, our areas uh, where we are, just from uh, how lush and green and and the you know, significant amount of rain that we get um, generally keeps those waterways pretty happy. So, Mike, it's, it was a pleasure having you on with us to, on with me today, um, getting to learn a little bit about uh, Mike Step uh, and. Uh, all of the uh, the, f the fun things. So uh, as you're interacting with Mike as your consultant, you have a little bit of uh, an idea of some of the fun things he likes to do. Uh, and we look forward to 
uh, bringing to you, uh, our customers and our friends out there, uh, these uh, episodes where we get to meet all of our Knights of the Roundtable. Mike, thanks for joining me today. Thank you, Mike. It was a pleasure, uh, and we'll see you all soon. Thank you.